September She burns through the night like an ember And all those things we try forgetting I remember But we say we all fine, we all fine Sunny day dreams and we up now Alright guys, so this is how Casey Neistat always does his videos. So I'm going to cut and edit like him of course. In this one, the Vegas told make sure to smash the like button down below already and I would say, let's go. Alright guys, back home, let's go straight to the editing. Alright guys, so as you guys can see, we are in Sony Vegas, and the first thing that you want to do is, I'm going to, you know, Casey makes always time lapses at the beginning, so that's what we're going to do right now. So as you guys can see, I have here some, some stock footage from uh, New York City, and we don't need the audio for that, so we're going to press Control U, so we can, the audio is loose, we're going to delete it, and first of all, as you guys can see, it is just normal footage, but I'm going, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold Control, go to the right, and as you guys can see, time strat, hold your left mouse button, and and put it to the left as you guys can see this makes it a time lapse as you guys can see that's what Casey always does what he also does is he always puts text on the screen uh, which is going to be the place the date underneath then his name and then the vlog number so that's what we're going to do as well so we're going to go over to the media generators and you want to pick legacy text as you guys can see boom and as you guys can see, we already have text on the screen. So what he always does is the location, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in Limburg, because that's where I live. Then in, uh, then what you want to do is I'm going to make it bigger so it fits the screen. That's a little bit too big, so I'm going to pick 136. That's a little bit too small. 138. As you guys can see, that fits the entire screen. That's awesome. Then what you want to do is you want to place uh, the date underneath it. So I'm going to just press Control C. I'm going to duplicate this one create a new video track, paste it in, boom, and then we're gonna change for Limburg to the date, which is Wednesday, Wednesday, I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller, Wednesday, July 29, as you guys can see. So I'm going to make it a little bit smaller, let's say 70, and I'm gonna go over to placement, and I'm going to place this underneath the word Limburg, as you guys can see right there, so, but it's a little bit too big, it doesn't fit the screen. So I'm going to keep, I'm going to keep making it smaller until it fits, so I'm going to try 55, that's a little bit too small, I'm going to try 60, that should work, that's a little bit too big, 59 maybe. Two hours later. And then I'm going to make it fit on screen, so I'm going to like this, put this, in, like do this in detail, so I'll come back to you guys when I'm done. Okay, so as you guys can see, this is what we have so far in the beginning, but uh, we will always have like, like a few seconds and then it appears in the screen, as you guys can see. So we're going to do it like this and then it should appear on the screen. Then he cuts away to a different text and he puts his name and the vlog number. So I'm going to press Control C, Control V, and I'm going to change at the bottom. It says it's it was his vlog number, but I'm going to pick tutorial 122. As you guys can see, it doesn't fit. Also, just make it smaller. I start off with 20. That's a little bit too small. I'm going to pick 30. I would say that fits almost 32. 32, that fits. So as you guys can see, we have tutorial 100 and then we want to just change Limburg to our name. So I'm just going to delete it, uh, which is going to be this one. And I'm going to type in Alex Halford right there. I'm going to make it smaller. Let's say I pick 100. That's also too big. Let's pick 90. I think that's too big as well, 80. Uh, let's see, 80, 82. That looks awesome, guys. The font isn't right. So what you want to do is you want to go ahead and download the font uh, Helvetica. So you just want to press H and you want to look for uh, the font Helvetica, which is, let me let me check in the list, this one, as you guys can see. So that makes the text a little bit bolder. And we're going to change that to everything. So all, as you guys can see, we have Limburg. I'm just going to change all the fonts to Helvetica. So I'll come back to you when that's done. A few moments later. So as you guys can see, that looks really awesome. All the fonts, all the letters are Helvetica and it looks so awesome, guys. So check this out, what we have already. As you guys can see, Wednesday, July 29, Alex Halford tutorial 122. As you guys can see, that's how awesome it looks. But we also want to have music underneath it. So I'm going to pick uh, some royalty-free music, which is this one. And let's pick it where, where the drop is. I'm going to let you guys listen. I would say from there. So I'm going to press S. 
and then I'm going to put it at the beginning of the video. And I also want to have like a little more, I want to spice up the footage a little bit more. So I'm going to press, uh, brightness and contrast to it, paste it on there. And I'm just going to mess a little bit with the contrast. As you guys can see, that looks awesome. And let's see what we have so far. Her body's go like September. She burns through the night like an ember. And all those things we try to get in our... As you guys can see, that looks really awesome, guys. That's how it awesome it is. You just want to speed up the footage of your time lapse, put some, like, I would say hip hop related music underneath it, royalty free. Uh, and then just the text, guys, the place, the dates, and then your name, and then the vlog numbers. So, like, this is tutorial, this is Sony Vegas tutorial 122, so that's why I'm doing this. So, let's see that once again. Her body's go like September. She burns through the night like an ember. And all those things we try forgetting, I remember. And then he just starts to vlog regularly. So that's how you do it, guys. That's how you edit your video. Okay, guys, welcome back to this video. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to position your uh your face cam uh like in the corner just like jelly does while he is playing gta or other games so basically what he has he has like a green line underneath it uh so i'm going to show you guys how to do it right now obviously he's is behind the blue screen i use a green screen in my case because i think that for me that just works better uh so i'm just going to just show you guys how to remove the background put yourself in the corner i'll be showing you guys how to add that little line into it as well so i would say make sure to smash the like button down below already you can also find jelly's link in the description and I would say, let's go. Okay guys, welcome back to this video. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to add the videos like Jelly. Now, basically what you want to do is when I mute this track, you can see some GTA footage, as you can see. So this is basically GTA 5 footage. And basically when I, you know, bring this up again, as you can see, we have me uh, sitting right there. So what we're going to do is we are just going to start off by adding a chroma key on there. Boom, uncheck the chroma key click on the blue bar you want to pick this pencil and you want to pick the nicest screen you can find as you can see when i apply the chroma key the background will disappear now you want to mess around with those low threshold until it's right so let me just mess around a little bit with that so i think this looks a little bit too bad so as you can see right now boom we have no background so the next thing that we're going to do is i'm going to put a click on this uh, icon uh, track motion i'm going to resize myself and i'm going to place myself in the corner right there so that's basically how simple it is and that's what he does but then he is also sitting on like a little green line and if you guys want to download that image it is just a, a just a little small image of a green line i'll show you guys right now this is the green line as you can see so i'm going to just drag that guy into vegas and i'm going to place that guy on top of our track so i'm going to place it right there but as you can see the line is way too big and everything so go back to uh, this track motion icon make it a little bit smaller and let's place it on top of myself where I'm sitting. It's a little, still a little bit too big. So let me just place this guy right there onto, onto myself. And as you guys can see, I'm sitting on top of a green line. And that's basically what Jelly does, guys. He just wants to, doesn't have like just like a straight cut out uh, like image of him. So he then, that's why he placed like a green line. I'm going to track the green line uh, to the very end. And as you guys can see, if I play back the video, this is how it looks. And obviously Jelly is always, you know, not sitting in front of his webcam, but more like to the side. But that was like a problem for me because I have like problems with my green screen because it's a very, you know, tiny shithole in this uh, in this room. So basically I have I didn't have the space to set up the green screen properly to light myself uh, from the side. But you guys want to just place your webcam to the left or to the right, like from yourself and then record that way. So that's basically how you get like a green line, guys. I'll you, I'll leave the link down in the description so you can download the image itself. It is just, just a PNG, you can, you can drag it in straight away. Uh, so that's that's how you do it guys that's how it edits these videos all right guys so as you can see right now i am just like color cop says he has you know since he has the, uh, the camera right there he has the game recording right here so basically i'm going to show you guys how to edit like him but first of all guys it is very important that you guys need to understand that you need footage first. So what I'm going to do now is guys, I'm going to just complete this race and I'm going to just use this footage as well that I'm recording right now to edit that in Sony Vegas. So that's what I'm going to do because this video is being requested a lot. So basically that's what I'm going to do. And guys, actually in a few hours, I've also a video dropping how to edit like Jelly, you know, obviously with like the green line he has with the green screen and everything. Uh, all of that is coming up guys. Make sure to stay tuned for that and let's see how Quebble Cup edits. But before I can do that, I need footage actually. 
actually. So that's what I'm going to do right now, guys. Uh, so I'm going to show you guys how to edit like him, how to cut like him, uh, you know, like the orange face cam board that, that he uses and everything. So this is going to be epic. I'm going to make about three loops and I hope it's going to go well. I think it will. Let's go, Dio. And it's not that difficult to edit like him, guys. You just need to cut on the right moments and, you know, have a fa orange face cam board is always like his trademark and obviously uh, like scream like a lot <laughs> so with that being said let's just complete this race and let's st let's let me start using this footage um, to show you guys how to edit like him because it's requested a lot I'm, I'm trying to you know just show the pop-ups and comments because when I made a video on, like how to edit like PewDiePie and how to edit like scarce how to edit like leafy and everything everyone has been requesting quibble cops so why not make a video about how he edits because I'm very well known with the program Vegas Pro and I know how to do it so why not share my knowledge with you right now I'm just going to just keep getting those checkpoints and let me just finish this race so I can go ahead and jump straight into Vegas so I can show you guys how it's done then we'll be hopping into Vegas Pro so if this is going to take too long I will see you guys in just a minute when I finish this race so I have the footage so I can show you guys how it's done so let's go yo a few moments later and boom guys as you can see that is the race so i'm gonna go ahead and end off this video and i'm going to just jump straight into sony vegas it took me around three and a half minutes and let's go ahead and edit like a all right guys so now that we're in sony vegas first of all we're gonna do is we want to make our video square and not like a rectangle fm pan crop this one and then we're gonna make this box a little bit smaller though we want to check mask then we're going to go over and pick this you know this tool then we are going to just select a square around us as you can see right there not too many edges and as you can see right now we have a nice uh, image of us sitting right there so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make it smaller and place it in the corner so we're going to go over to this little icon which says track motion let's make it a little bit smaller and let's place it in the top left corner so I think he always does it like this or something. Boom. So now that we've done that, we're gonna add in we're gonna add an orange face cam border. So now we're gonna add in an orange square image and we're gonna place that guy underneath. And we're gonna place this orange face cam border underneath our face cam. So we're gonna just place this guy right there and I'm just going to mess with it until it fits. So let me see and let me mess around until I work until it worked. So I'm just going to just try to position this right just like that. And then this one. And I'm just going to figure out until it completely fits the face cam border. It's going to be really simple. You want to just use event pan crop and you should be good to go. 328. AM. And boom guys, just a few moments later, I have an orange face cam border. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make this guy also stick onto the footage. So I'm gonna press, I'm gonna click on there, press control, control, left click, hold control, right click, group, and now we click on create new. And as you guys can see, I have an orange face cam border. This is how you add like Rebel Cup guys. It is that simple. So this is how it looks. Orange face cam border, gameplay right there freaking awesome that's how you do it so you want to make sure that you cut on the right moments like cut away silences cut away arms maybe cut away like crashes so that's it for you guys thank you guys for watching that's how you add like bubble cop it is that simple so if i want to thank you guys for watching thank you guys for liking thank you for subscribing and i will see you guys actually in a few hours for a new video how to add like jelly with like the green line in the corner and with like a transparent background just like this one so make sure to stay tuned and i will see you guys in a few hours <laughs>